David Ganzarto is the owner of Alternate Solutions Healthcare, a provider of home-based healthcare and other medical services. He's also an Aileron client who has improved his business by picking the right customer. We sat with David to find out more about his experience. We started by asking him if he's ever fired a customer. Yes, we have fired a customer, um, several of them actually. Um, in particular, in our business, um, the insurance industry is not as comfortable with home care yet. And because of that, their rates aren't always um, acceptable to us. And we found out by doing research over time that there, we were actually losing money. We had to hire enough people to follow all their regulations and their billing processes on the back end, and we were getting reimbursed less money than we were actually paying out to take care of our patients. So we went back to the insurance companies, explained this to them, and said, you know, this is what we're doing, this is our processes, and um, they were unwilling to, to work with us any further on pricing. So at that point, we had to uh, give them a notice that we were no longer going to accept any more of their patients. Um, so that was one segment. Another one is in, in the private pay business um, that we are in. Uh, people expect a great deal for um, what they're paying for. It, in our other segments of business, they're entitlement programs, meaning that the government pays for all or 90 plus percent of the services. So people aren't, their expectations aren't as high as if you're paying cash out of your pocket. And sometimes we had customers who ask our employees to do things that just weren't appropriate. So we would then um, discontinue working with them. How has your business changed since you've started focusing on having the right customers? Well, one thing it does is it, it creates a lot less tension with our staff. So that, that immediately creates a better morale or culture inside because they, they had a difficult time dealing with some of the complaints and, and frustrations of trying to get reimbursed and all the paperwork process that they didn't want to have to deal with. So by letting those patients or those particular customers go, it's allowed our, the time internally to be freed up and people enjoy doing what they do without the, the heavy burden, I would say, of dealing with some of these uh, problem customers. How do you continuously measure your customer's fit with your company? Well, we always are evaluating that, and, and we get a great deal of feedback uh, in a couple ways. One of them is we do employee satisfaction surveys, and if they're frustrated or feel uncomfortable with um, what's going on with clients that we're dealing with, we know that right away. So that's one way we always monitor that, and then we have to look deeper into that. What is the cause of that pain? Another thing we do is we do um, customer satisfaction surveys. So. We want to see if our customers are happy or unhappy, and if they're unhappy, it may be because we're in a product line or a business line that maybe we shouldn't be because we're not doing as good a job um, in managing that process. So if we ever run into an issue that way, that's, that's certainly one. And then I'd say the third one is um, from a profit and loss statement. I mean, if we are not making profit on a patient, um, we want to take a look at that and, and determine whether we want to continue in that business line as well. What stage was your business in when you realized that you needed a customer selection strategy? I'd say about five years into it. Uh, we, we thought that we could be everything to everybody. And when I mean that, in home care, we were doing all aspects of home care. Um, and we were in all kinds of different business lines. But yet, we were really only good at a couple of them. Uh, and then we decided to get into the hospice business because 90% of hospice care is done in the home. And it's essentially the same thing as home care. So we got into the hospice business, and at that point, we started to have all these fingers uh, in different areas of our business line. And what we realized is we need to make a change, and we need to start focusing on what was the best thing for our business. Better morale, higher profits, more satisfied customers. It's easy to see why David's so enthusiastic, but his experience isn't unique. Lots of other business leaders have made it a priority to understand which customers fit their businesses best. If you're ready to start thinking about a strategy of your own, visit us online at aileron.net or call 888-880-6139.